what is going on guys it is james coming back at you with another video and today i want to talk about the first five modifications that you should do when you get your car so coming up right after the intro all right guys so the first thing that you want to do to your car as you get it is do an exhaust modification now there's different kinds of modifications for the exhaust. You can do a downpipe exhaust, which is for the front, right where it connects to the engine. Or you can do a resonator delete, which basically just deletes the resonator in the somewhere in the middle of the pipe. This is the cheapest modification because it requires a less the least labor. Or you can get a cat back, which is the cat back. Um, so basically I, if you're going for most power and you have a turbocharged car I'd recommend getting the downpipe because that's going to allow you to uh, run more power and boost when we get further down the list if you have a naturally aspirated car or you just want the best sound I would get a cat back but it is going to be more than likely the most expensive option on the list set the tires as well as a bigger rim so for example on my Audi S5 I have 19 by nine and a half inch all around that's both wider and bigger so the bigger the rim is gonna make it look better um, because you're getting more surface of that beautiful rim especially if you pick a good-looking rim um, the wider the tire is going to make the stance look more aggressive and give you more presence on the road as well as uh, better grip going through the corners and um, doing digs like 0 to 60s is going to give you more traction. <laughs> Some brands that you guys could look out for, or you guys could get like if you're on a tight budget, you could look at um, TSW, Mandros, Niche, um, and I'll put these down in the description so you guys can check it out, as well as other links that you guys may need, and so on and so forth. Some high end rims that you guys can check out are some HREs. And guys, I do apologize, it just started to rain. I'm hoping that doesn't affect the audio of the video. Um, but I do apologize in advance for that. What I would recommend doing is getting a spoiler. Because this is going to give you probably the biggest difference to a factory car. And it, it's a, a spoiler is something that you know, you'd pay an option to get if you're driving a European car. You know? So... It, they have clean ones that you can get that won't like make it look too aggressive but they also have aggressive ones like this that can completely transform your car and uh, give you that aggressive look if that's what you're going for but they also have these lip spoilers that um, you can get that will give you a subtle change and still give you an edge over a factory car all right uh, moving along all right so back to power now so now you're gonna want to get a 
intake, uh, cold air intake preferably. Um, I don't know what car you have, so you'd have to get a brand that matches it. But the reason why you want to get a cold air intake is one, the factory air box that comes with the car is very restrictive. And most would say it's too restrictive, especially for America and Europe where they have really good drainage and you're not gonna be going through deep water. You're not gonna get water going in through your air box, you know? So it's a good thing to have an open air air box that would allow cold air to come into the engine and help you produce more power. Uh, especially keeping the induction temps down so that you can run more boost and run boost more efficiently. So I would highly recommend getting a cold air intake. If you have an Audi, you could go with like an APR intake. Those are really good. Um, uh, I'll leave a link to a website with some air intakes down below so you guys can check it out. And then moving on to the finale, this is the most important um, modification on the list because it's going to give you the most bang for your buck in terms of horsepower. Um, but you need all the other things on the list first before you can install this. And that would be a ECU tune. So the ECU tune is, is amazing. I have it on both my Audis and it's unlocked over 100 horsepower on both of them. Um, so for the price you pay for it, you're getting a lot of power and you can definitely feel it. Um, as well as the power, you can get some quality of life things like um, on the Audi that I got, you can launch, you can use launch control as many times as you want. Because uh, from, from factory it comes locked at only 75 times. Uh, as well as taking off the speed restriction. So most of these cars are restricted to 100 and I think either 130 or 150 or 155. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I'll leave a correction in the video here. Um, so you'll take that off and you can take it as fast as you want so you could do like a, a top speed run if you're if you have the open road and just see how fast you can get your car up to if you want um, other things that the tune will also apply or give you is um, a higher rpm can give you better shifts uh, it can give you a higher RPM launch control as well, so you can get a more aggressive launch and many other things. So um, I would recommend getting the Stage 2 2. You may, like, instead of getting 1 and then 2, I'd recommend just going to 2 to save you some money. Um, but bear in mind for Stage 2, all cars are different, but you will need a downpipe and um, you could use an air intake. Some cars like the Audi S3, I mean now, requires an uh, intercooler upgrade because um, it runs pretty hot. So um, yeah, just check with your tuner and know what you need to have on it before and then take it into them, get it flashed or get one of the tunes like Unitronic that you can flash from your house just with a laptop or Wi-Fi. It's super easy to do it um, and I would highly recommend it. So if you guys did enjoy this video and you were able to take away something from this video, please drop a like, it would really help me out and drop a comment as well. I want to know what your feedback is, would you do the same order that I did or would you guys mix it up and um, I'm also curious to know, do you guys think that the wing spoiler is better looking than a diffuser? So let me know in the comment section below. I read all the comments and replies. So I look forward to seeing you guys. And with that, I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day and thank you for your time.